Hello everyone welcome back to yet another episode of Silhouette Paint Masterclass in today's episode we are going to see some advanced techniques or skills for creating a clean plate and in my previous episode i have taught you about basics of creating clean plate and what all brushes we can use specifically in that tutorial i was using a single image or a random image from internet but in most of the cases you will receive a sequence of image and from that plate you have to choose a sharp crisp frame where you can create a clean plate so in this case i have a footage here i'm going to do a playback and show you how my footage looks like yep so here i have the footage and my task will be to remove this character uh, for that what i have to do is create a clean plate over this area where uh, i have to recreate this texture i believe this is concrete uh, or basically i have to recreate the floor the best way or the easiest way to do that if you are a beginner you might do this mistake but i have to remove this character so the best way to do that is like this area and this area is similar with texture but not with lighting so what i'm going to do is simply use a clone brush and clone this area from here i'm going to reset this hold shift in the keyboard and i have selected a source and destination so i'm cloning here and as you can see i'm able to recreate this floor i will match the clone brush a bit more accurately matching the line perfectly oops i have to reset the source frame as well so i'm going to reset this and now i have to use the clone brush and uh, i'm matching this line accurately you can see uh, the lighting is not matching that great so maybe i will use auto grade and see how this looks like slightly better but uh, not that great maybe i can decrease the value a bit and uh, yeah obviously i'm not going to spend a lot of time recreating this stuff uh, for this tutorial so let's consider this as our clean plate i know it's not that accurate but now i'm happy with the clean plate because i just painted out that character now my next step would be to do prep on this shot so if i do a playback and see i already have the source here and you can see there are some white marks here and uh, in my clean plate there are no white marks so if i do prep with this clean plate it's going to get messy and i won't be able to match this shot perfectly the best way to do that and the reason for this tutorial is we can utilize source from different frames in the same footage and recreate the clean plate first of all i'm just going to delete the current frame i'm going to reset this if you do playback here you can see we have 320 as my source frame come back to the frame where you have to create the clean plate and make sure you have the perfect brush settings so we have a couple of options here i already explained all these things in my previous video where i explained what clone tool brush does consider checking out that in my channel i'm going to choose output as my source here as i'm using the same source or same plate or if i have like a clean plate uh, which is provided from the client for recreating this area i can use that but in my case there is no other plate so i'm going to use output as the source here and here we have frames and here we can choose the frame exact frame where you are going to use for recreating that clean plate frame in my case it was three 20 so i'm going to type in 320 here now if you press q in my keyboard it will turn on the onion skin overlay and you can see the source frame we can utilize this area from frame 320 into frame 384 the way to do that is use transformation shortcuts again i have explained every kind of transformation methods and shortcuts in the other video so yeah just go and check out that video after watching this yeah i'm going to use shortcuts q for translate and w for rotate and e for scale and also we can use arrows in the keyboard for navigations here i'm going to match this frame perfectly you can use shift and control as well for minimizing and maximizing the transformations kind of matched here and uh, the next step would be making sure you are in the exact frame where you want to create the clean plate is in my case it is 384 i don't have to adjust anything here but make sure i'm using clone brush as my brush and just paint over the area where you have to create the clean plate wait uh, before that i can just come over to grade filter and see if i'm able to auto grade the area where i'm painting it's super messy so it's better to turn off that and uh, yeah obviously you can use this grade properties for uh, you know adjusting the lighting in different areas i guess this area is darker because of the shadow of the character one point uh, maybe one five and now if i paint just over here it's even better now 0.9 or something and uh, now it's matching a little bit more revealing back the unwanted areas i'm just going to reset this again come back to the uh, clone tab and uh, maybe i can use 300th frame and let's see how the result looks like 
Now you can see we have matched the clean plate with the source and if you're doing prep with this clean plate it's going to be super clean. You can match the texture of the floor very accurately. Also you can see I have missed out some area because uh, it was kind of dark and I was not able to create like a solid texture there. So if that's the case you can recreate here using clone brush manually and maybe I can reset everything and uh, this is not wrong because you don't have source for this area in any other frames or you don't have any other reference plate from the client. It's perfectly okay to randomly clone a specific area where you don't have any source just like this as an example. So, so consider this as a next step for your learning curve and for sure creating clean plate is not that easy. From a first look this shot was looking very easy to do but as we work we can see lots of complications. There were like texture mismatches and uh, lighting differences all sort of things. So basically just work on different shots with different complications and acquire perfect skills for creating clean plates. As a paint prep artist this is really vital so consider spending more time on creating clean plates. I believe this tutorial is super useful or you have learned something from this. If yes please give a like to the video and comment down your thoughts. If you have any questions you can comment down that as well. See you in the next episode. Thank you for watching.